Dr. Weiner says that 60 to 80 percent of women are diagnosed with breast and cervical cancer every day at the Port Mosby General Hospital, with one of the youngest diagnosed, a 19-year-old. Um, cervical cancer, cervix, and uh, breast cancer, the number two cancers in Papua New Guinea that kills a lot of ladies. Most cancer cases are treated at stages 3 and 4, which present a lesser guarantee of recovery. This is because signs and symptoms are discovered very late. I, mean, I have no idea reasons why they don't come for screening. It's only when they come with a breast lump, then that's when we start doing the screening, but it's late. You know, when, when we have a breast, when somebody comes with a breast lump, it's not screening now, it's now going into diagnosing. The only radiotherapy facility in the country, which is in Leh, Moraba province, makes it difficult for women to access. That results in incomplete treatment. Dr. Weiner says that most women resort to returning home without treatment. And in Mosby or any other places you go, there's only one treatment center for cancer in Leh. Who wants to go to Leh? When you have family members there, yeah, but you know, in terms of travel, logistics, it's quite difficult. So. One problem is deteriorating facilities, which need immediate repair, like the aging cobalt machine at the Yangau Hospital. The machine in Leh is cobalt, passed it, you know, bought in 1973, been using it ever since. It's an old, outdated machine. We don't have a mammogram, there's only one mammogram for screening that's only in Port Moses General Hospital. It's a donated old one. Dr. Weiner says the onus is now on political bureaucrats to address the country's cancer problem. Dr. Weiner says a continued lack of intervention will kill more women. Marilyn Diaukatam, National MTV News.